In this plot, we see the infection of wheat blast here. Around 50% of the spikes showing the clear, typical symptom of wheat blast uh, on the spikes. And we also see some of the uh, leaves are also affected, but it needs further investigation in the laboratory to become sure of this infection of wheat blast pathogen uh, on the lower leaves as well as other leaves also. But on the heads, there are clear symptoms we will be taking samples from the symptomatic and asymptomatic plants from here to uh, confirm the MOT and, and we will also be seeing if there is uh, uh, variability in, the, in this blast pathogen population through uh, molecular markers there. 2016 in the month of February, uh, the, the spikes are showing different symptoms that uh, the scientists, even the farmers, have never seen in the past. So we, are, uh, so we went there to pick up the samples and we tested that in the laboratory and we found that this is due to uh, wheat blast pathogen, Pyricularia aurisi. And then immediately after collecting samples from the uh, affected areas, uh, we uh, sent the samples to United States Department of Agriculture for confirmation of the pathogen and the pathogen was uh, confirmed over the year and uh, and last year uh, there were 15,000 hectares affected in southwestern and southern part of Bangladesh and but that was in the, uh, the uh, that was in the later part of the uh, crop growth stage and mostly the late planted wheat were affected but this year we are again having the symptoms of this wheat blast but those are in case of the early planted wheat and in this case, we, uh, in, in, the case, in the case of last year, we have observed that around on an average of 20 to, uh, 25 to 30 percent of the affected wheat fields uh, showed loss for the farmers and those farmers are particularly smallholder farmers. So this is a big problem for uh, Bangladeshi farmers and if it happens again and again, so the farmers will be largely affected and we are trying to uh, develop uh, control, maze, control measures and including the uh, development of uh, wheat blast resistant variety having durable, uh, having durable resistance. And we are looking for managing the disease through integrated disease management approaches including agronomy and, and uh, chemical control and, the, and the, at the same time uh, development of wheat varieties having uh, resistance uh, against wheat blast.